Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. So over the last, maybe like six months, I've had quite a few different requests to show you guys some kind of like supermarket clothing. And I'm totally down for that because I am one of the people who will go in for like a loaf of bread or eggs and come out with a full on outfit. So I have previously shopped in Tesco and Asda and I do rate them, but I thought what would be really good is I actually live just down the road from a really big Asda. So I'm gonna pop in and take you guys around with me, show you some stuff that's kind of in store at the moment that you can pick up. I'm pretty sure everything's available online anyway. So if I do see some really good bits, I'll always try and like link them down below in the description box. I'm also gonna look at the home kind of decor, just any kind of home items as well, because you guys know I'm addicted. Um, but yeah, I thought I would just take you with me We'll all have a look together and then if I do end up getting some bits, I'll show you guys when I get back. First thing I saw when I walked in was this really cute kind of oatmeal cardigan with the tortoiseshell buttons. That was only £16. I also saw a lot of jeans, never heard of a balloon jean before, but they looked like a really good kind of alternative for a mum jean and really reasonably priced at £16. I also spotted this dress. I'm loving a kind of midi dress with boots at the moment. It also had a kind of concealed drawstring, which would be really, really flattering for curves as well. I loved the different kind of texture of this jumper. I thought it was really unique with that chevron pattern. And I feel like a kind of cozy gray jumper is just a staple for every single winter. Their jean selection was actually pretty good and everything was really good quality as well. These were high rise cropped ones and they also had this kind of frayed bit at the bottom and they were also available in a mid blue as well. If you're looking for a comfy alternative to kind of jeans or joggers, these are a really, really good option. They're very much comfy, casual, looked really, really comfortable and really affordable as well. I was loving this kind of teddy bear coat. It's more of a midi length one and it was this really nice kind of burnt corally orange colour. I thought it would go really well with this jumper actually which was next to it. It's from their recycled range, it was only £12.50 and I love that kind of neutral creamy colour, it goes with a lot of stuff. I have a pair of trousers similar to this, again, a really, really good alternative to just wearing jeans all the time. They're more of a kind of cargo pants style. They were only £16, which I thought was a great price. They also had some similar kind of khaki colour ones in the sale as well, which were reduced to £7. This kind of coral jumper was in the sale as well for £6. I love the little kind of ball balls on it. I also spotted some kind of sloping tees as well. I really wanted this as like a bedtime t-shirt, but it just wasn't really long enough, but they did have a few different kind of options and styles. Overall, their range of jumpers was really, really generous. They had so many different colors and styles. I thought this kind of powdery blue was such a cute color. And I also loved this kind of gray and polka dot one as well. You guys know I love a heeled boot in winter. I found these kind of chunky biker Chelsea style boots for £16. And what's great is that when they have a chunky heel, they're pretty easy to walk in. They were also available in this kind of suede gray color as well. And they just had a kind of flat Chelsea style boot as well for £12.50. Good news for bigger boobed ladies. Um, as to now do bras up to a G, I don't know if that's like the biggest cup size they do but that's the biggest one i kind of saw in there which was fantastic they had a lot of basics but a lot of kind of cute lacy ones as well so there's definitely a lot of variety in lots of different sizes this dressing gown was the softest thing ever it was so nice and cozy I spotted these um, ribbed kind of leggings. I wasn't a fan of the lace on the bottom. If not, I probably would have gotten them. They were available in a kind of sand color and a blush pink as well. And there was also this matching kind of oversized cardigan slash dressing gown as well. 
another teddy bear style jacket this was more of a full length style in a kind of khaki brown color which would probably be a little bit more versatile than the pinky one i feel like a coat like this is very much a staple year on year i love the kind of textured chevron pattern and it was really affordable at 23 pounds as well another kind of midi dress which was really cute as well i love this ruffle detail at the bottom again another kind of concealed drawstring waistband as well moving on to the home section first thing i actually saw was chromecast we love our chromecast and we're probably going to get another one but i think i might wait until the black friday sale and get it a bit cheaper they have these kind of poof footstools as well in lots of different colors i really like this kind of slightly sandy gray color but i also love the blush pink as well bit of a random one but if you're on the lookout for a bin I thought this was a really affordable option that actually looked quite nice and sophisticated. It was kind of like a black metal style pedal bin. Onto the kind of bedding section, they had so much Christmas stuff. Obviously I'm a crazy dog lady and I was obsessed with this kind of Christmas dog print. I also spotted these. If they had these in white, I 100% would have gotten them, but they're 100% cotton. They're tufted so you don't have to iron them and they were only 30 pounds for a king size set. Asda is definitely one of my go-to places for mugs as well. I actually have this little elephant mug here and I love him. I was really drawn to these monochrome ones. They had that really nice kind of textured, unique kind of ceramic feel to them. They were only two pounds each and these pink ones were only one pound each. I also spotted these more white company style ones. They were very, very cute and also only one pound each. You've got to give it to Asta, they have gone hard on their kind of Christmas kitchenware stuff. I loved some of the mugs up here. I really wanted these bamboo style bowls. Annoyingly, they didn't have the grey in the large ones. I've seen these so many times. They're kind of like ceramic cafetiers or teapots. They also had these really nice kind of grey speckled style milk jugs, sugar pots. I obviously love the black ones, but I thought they just looked so expensive. They also had a really great range of different kind of glassware. These coloured ones would be perfect for a party, not that we're allowed to at the moment. Again, you guys know what my style is like. I was drawn to these ones right here. They have this kind of black smoke glass effect set and even the shape of the wine glasses, I was just obsessed with them. They had a really good range of placemats and coasters as well. These wooden ones were four pounds for us a set of two. And I also saw these kind of woven ones as well, which I thought were really nice. Same price again, four pounds for two. I was loving the colorway of the towels. They weren't the softest, but six pounds for a bath sheet, I really didn't think was that bad. And I like these bobbled bath mats as well. If you're looking for bathroom storage, these were really sweet. Eight pounds for a set of two little kind of wicker baskets. Their range of other bathroom accessories was really, really good as well. Lots of kind of toothbrush holders, soap dispensers, soap dishes in so many different kind of styles. Please let me know if anyone has this handheld hoover because this is so similar to the shark one but the shark one is like 150 pounds so i was very very tempted by that but they also had a shark upright hoover on offer as well onto the smellies section lots of kind of christmas scents they're not really my vibe but there was quite a few different ones to choose from a huge variety of wax melts these were all on offer three for five pounds and yeah there were so many to choose from they also had a great range of cushions as well that felt like really good quality i love this kind of tufted polka dot one for eight pounds there was a really nice kind of textured one here for four pounds and on the bottom shelf here, they had these larger kind of Villa style ones in lots of different colors for nine pounds each. And this one right here, I was so tempted to get for our bed. It was seven pounds, but it was just so adorable. Right guys, I am back from Asda. 
I did get a few bits in my little bag for life. Um, I didn't get a lot, so it's not gonna be a big old haul. There was a lot of stuff that I wanted, but I refrained, I was trying to be good and not spend too much money. Let's go through the kind of fashion bits first. When I say fashion, these are not fashion at all, really. These are more like essentials. So I picked up a pair, a pair? A pack of socks. Black ankle socks are like my go-to socks. So there are seven pairs in here for three pounds. Um, a lot of my socks are really threadbare at the moment, so I feel like I need to have a little bit of a bit of a switch over. But I thought these were like amazing price. I don't even think they're that cheap in Primark, but they feel really like not super thin. Um, they're not like really thick, but they feel pretty good quality. So I picked up a pack of those. Also picked up a pack of tights. I had to do like an emergency dash for some tights the other day and I got them from, I think I got them from like Dorothy Perkins and there were only two pairs and I think they were like eight pounds and I was shocked by how much they were. So I picked up these ones. I got them in an extra large. I'm not actually entirely sure what size I should be, but I'd rather they were too big than too small. So I got three pairs at the 60 denier for four pounds. And they still got that like little lycra technology doodad. So I'm sure they'll be fine, but that is infinitely cheaper than what I paid the other day. So I thought I'd get some more tights, stock up my stash and I'll be wearing them more in winter. And then the only other kind of slightly fashion related thing that I got is actually these. So I've just found that I've been like chucking my hair up in a ponytail or a bun all the time. Um, and I don't know if anyone else gets this. I have a lot of hair. I have like really thick hair. And when I have it scraped back all the time, it just gives me such a bad headache. So I thought I'd get some of these like little clip things to kind of clip it back or clip half of it back. And it would probably hopefully be better for my hair in the long run as well, because I'm finding that it's just getting really like knotted as well at the moment. And then onto the kind of homeware-y stuff. Um, again, I had to refrain so much. Um, and me and Steve were actually having a chat the other day about, like I said to you guys before, we absolutely love this house, but it's not our forever house. And we knew that when we moved in. And I feel like I'm getting to the point now when I'm looking at certain stuff that I'm like, is it worth it? Or should I just wait until we next move? So that's why I don't buy a lot of stuff. I try and reuse what we have um, and style things in different ways or DIY them because I just don't know how long we're gonna live here basically. So that is that. I saw loads of like crockery mugs, glassware that I was, I really wanted it, but I didn't get it. So I got some boring stuff instead. I got a pair of oven gloves. So I mentioned this to you guys the other day when I did this room transformation, that we're gonna be making some changes to the kitchen, hopefully getting new worktops. This is the plan is to maybe get like a, either a luxury laminate or a quartz, um, kind of like a lighter worktop, and then accenting that with black hardware on the cabinets. Um, so, yeah, it should tie into this room a lot more. You guys know I absolutely love like black accents and interior design and stuff like that. So I thought pair of oven gloves. These have quite a nice like monochrome pattern on them. I was so tempted to get the mugs that match these. They're in, the mugs are only two pounds each as well. So I thought they were amazing value, but these oven gloves were four pounds. Four pounds for the oven glove, but I thought those would still look quite nice kind of hung over the oven you know and they're fitting in with my monochrome kind of theme and again this is super boring but i picked up this pack of tea towels um we i actually got some tea towels from home sense it's maybe like a year ago now and they're kind of like a light gray and they're really like washed out and i don't know i feel like even when they're clean they just look a bit sad so I thought that when we do have our black hardware that maybe it would be better just to tie it in with a black towel. It would probably stand out a bit less. Um, we normally kind of just hang it over the handle for our, like we've got an integrated dishwasher. So you don't see it as soon as you walk into the room anyway. But I got this pack of black ones, but they have quite a nice, whether you'll be able to see it or not, a nice kind of textured detail to them. Slightly kind of, chevrony slash tribally 
So I have five tea towels in this pack. They're 100% cotton. These were actually on rollback and I believe they were three pounds for a pack. Yeah, three pounds, which I think is crazy cheap. Three pounds for five 100% cotton tea towels. They did do these in another color. I can't remember what the other color was because I obviously saw these and was like, they also have a 100 day satisfaction guarantee, which is pretty good. Yeah, I really like the texture on it. I just don't know if you guys can see it or not. Anyway, I think these will be fabulous. Right, next up, I have these wax melts. I actually found out about these from Freya Farrington's page. So she has like a fashion and a home account. I am like obsessed with her YouTube channel. She has like really nice kind of um, simple like white company kind of interior design style. And she's actually just moved house as well. Um, and I think she's doing like loads of like renovations to it. So if you are interested in that side of things, I definitely recommend go giving her a follow. Um, but she found these, they're wax melts in the scent Cuddle Up, which is Tonka and Oud. Um, apparently this is like a limited edition scent. Oh my God, that is just like, that is like hands down the kind of scent I always go for. I absolutely love that. Oh, that is so good. Um, so I got three of them because they were on offer, they were three for five pounds. So I got two of the Cuddle Up. I was tempted just to get three of them because I'm that obsessed with them. Um, but I actually decided to get one that was slightly different. This one's called a Crew Linen, um, which is, it's just more of a kind of fresh scent. Um, I don't really know how else to explain it. It has like a, to me that smells like a laundry smell, just like a really, fresh um kind of laundry smell but in a good way if that makes sense um but yeah the cuddle up ones oh my gosh they are so good apparently they're made in the usa so yeah i am gonna be burning these i don't i did smell some of the, the kind of christmasy scents um and i don't know like i i really want to like them but to me the kind of tonka and oud scent is kind of more of like a warm kind of nice cozy smell. I mean, it's called Cuddle Up, so yeah. But anyway, all in all, I thought the homeware stuff was so good and really, really great prices as well. I absolutely love Asda and also Sainsbury's is really good for like homeware stuff as well. Um, fashion wise, there were some nice bits in there. There were some really nice jumpers. Actually, the one thing that I said that I wanted to get today was slippers and they didn't really have any that were really, really like shouting out to me that I needed to buy. Um, I was also looking for like nice cozy pajamas and there just wasn't anything that was grabbing me. But let me know if you guys have enjoyed this style video, looking at what's available in like your local supermarkets. Um, if you have enjoyed it, like just leave me a comment and let me know. I can definitely do this video for like different supermarkets. I quite enjoyed filming it. So yeah, just let me know. And I hope you have enjoyed it. If you have, please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up because it really supports my channel. And if you haven't already subscribed, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and turn your notifications on so you never miss an upcoming video. And until next time, I will see you guys later. Bye.